Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Third Angle. In today's video, we are going to learn how to detail a DXF file, which is basically generated from the 3D model. So whenever you create your model, you can just take that model and export that part as a DXF file. And you can also choose which view you want to export. So let's say if I want to export the front view, I can select the front view and export it as a DXF file. So here I have one file which I have already exported as a DXF. So all I have to do here is open up that DXF file from the location. So what I'm going to do is I will go to open and then I have to find my DXF file. So here it says drawing. Instead of that, I'm going to select binary drawing DXF file and then I can see my DXF file here click on that in last video I have showed you guys how to create a template so what I'm going to do is I want to use my template every time when I create a DXF file or just do a detailing on the DXF file so let's say go to your pull down menu go to new and then select your template which you have already created so i'm gonna open up this template so my template is already there what i have to do is i have to select this geometry and paste it in my template file so there is my geometry i don't like this big fonts so i just want to change this text height to let's say point 0.2 and that looks better first thing I want to do here is I want to dimension my geometry now whenever you make a drawing file or a file which is basically going on to the machine you don't have to give all the dimension or you don't have to show all the dimensions because machine is going to read these lines not your dimensions so first thing first i am going to give this profile a overall dimension so whoever works on the machine they know what size of stock they need so go to pull down menu in the dimension and select linear dimension now from this point to that point say 7.0607 that's four decimal points i don't need four decimal points because our tolerance is connected with the decimal places right so what i'm gonna do is i will go to my units and go to your drafting style your dimension go to the linear dimension and format decimal and precision is four decimal points i'm going to change it to two decimal places apply hit ok so that says 7.06 which is correct as per my drawing i want to give the vertical dimension so i'll pick this point and that point it says three inches which is correct as per my drawing so i know my dxf file is right my drawing already says that my unit of measurement is inches so I don't have to worry about that because I've already set my units in my templates so let's check dimension of the slot so from that point to that point it says half inch I want to check what's the whole diameter so go to your smart dimension and check it says one inch now I'm a little bit scared here because I don't trust on the plasma machine that much. So I want to make this hole smaller. So whenever my part comes out of the machine, I still have room to open that hole up. So I can send this part off to the CNC machine and I can open up that hole. So now I want to reduce this diameter by at least quarter inch. I will offset my line by one eighth so from offset specify distance i will say 0.125 here 
hit enter specify source and entity so that's my source entity and my hole is smaller we'll go inside and then delete these circles that's it now because i have made hole smaller i have to mention it here that this hole is actually a one inch in diameter so what i'm going to do is let's go to annotate and select this leader line so i'm going to click anywhere on the circle and just put it on this side and we can put a note so go to your home click on text and then create a text box so i will say 1.00 i'll put a diameter symbol here so under this m person symbol see diameter so diameter one inch and i want to put this as two times one inch in diameter so whoever will check this part they will notice that this hole is actually one inch it is not completed yet so we have to send it off to the machining i don't have to worry about this chamfer because it's getting cut in the machine itself so that should be fine i have to give my part number quantity material and one more field i want to add here is thickness so, so that's enough plot info for this part but i want to put this info not on my zero layer because the machine will think that this is also for cut so i want to convert this into a def points layer it will be automatically created so just put that in the def point layer and then machine will know that this is just a plot info that's just for the information purpose so that's how you detail your dxf file when you are sending it off to any cutting machines and that's it for today's video guys i hope you like my video if you do like my content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit like on video thank you so much i'll see you in my next video